Hi everyone! For today's video, I'll be talking about one of the medieval period literature which is the Canzonere by Francesco Petrarca, also known as Petrarch. I'll be talking about its influence, about the book, the theme, the characterization, tone, summary, and an example of a poem from the book Canzonere. So before that, let us talk first about the author. Petrarch was born on July 20, 1304 in Arezzo, Tuscany, Italy, and died on July 18, 1374 in Padua, Italy. He is an Italian scholar, poet, humanist, whose poems addressed to Laura, an idealized beloved, contributed to the Renaissance flowering of lyric poetry, and he is considered as the greatest scholar of his age. He has an influence on Italian humanism. Petrarch is often regarded as the father of humanism because he helped popularize the classical world and literary study. He rediscovered many manuscripts and monasteries and had Greek works translated to Latin so that it could be more readily read and studied. He also influenced the European writing with his canzonere and his style. If you are going to ask what is canzonere, it is a book of poems composed out of two parts. This whole book of poem is inspired by this great love for Laura. This work served as a pattern of other generations of writers. This book doesn't offer a simple and classical love story. The writer didn't keep a journal in verses of the occurred event. Canzonere is a book of poems mostly consist out of sonnets, but there are also ballad madrigals. Petrarch didn't invent sonnet, but he made it famous. Canzonere is considered to be a confession, a type of novel, or a poet's journal which he kept for more than 30 years. The poems are statements of his conscious, fear, feelings, and passion. So clearly, the theme of the poem is love for Laura. The characters of the poems from the book Canzonere are the poet and Laura. About the characters, Laura is the woman infatuated the poet. She was incredibly beautiful, and she was described perfectly like she doesn't seem real. The poet was in love with her for 21 years, and that love was strong all along. She was a powerful and a divine woman without any flaws. Her perfection influenced the poet because he couldn't resist the love that he felt for her. The first part refers to the time when Laura was alive while the other one is dedicated to the period after her death. The poems are arranged to follow up with the development of the love and also the spiritual states the poet goes through. So now, here is an example of his poem. I don't know how to read the title, but I am going to show you an English translation of the poem. You who hear the sound in scattered rhymes, of those sights on which I fed my heart, in my first vagrant youthfulness, when I was partly other than I am. I hope to find and forgiveness for all the modes in which I talk and weep, between vain hope and vain sadness, in those who understand love through its trials. Yet I see clearly now I have become an old tale amongst all these people, so that it often makes ashamed of myself. And shame is the fruit of my vanities, and remorse, and the clearest knowledge of how the world's delight is a brief dream. This poem is a sonnet which is structured with two quartains, two tercets, and the last verse contains the moral. So the rhyme goes, A B B A, A B B A. C D E C D E. In his first sonnet, he emphasizes the love sufferings, daydreaming, and artistic creation. It's all an intimate autobiographical confession. 
In every literary piece, of course the author will use a literary devices to express their feelings and ideas. And clearly, we can see it in this poem. Like this line from the poem. Yet I see clearly now I have become an old tale amongst all these people. This line is an antithesis because its grammatical structure is parallel. Another one is the world's delight is a brief dream. This is a prophism because it is short but it expresses the truth about the world. Another is and shame is the fruit of my vanities and remorse and the clearest knowledge. This is gradation. As you can see, there are series of words or utterances in which intensity or significance increases step by step. And the last one is, You who hear the sound in scattered rhymes. This one is metaphor because it has a direct comparison between the word sound and rhyme. So that's all for today's video. Bye!